Hey guys, this is Kian Graham, the CEO of Monetize More. I'm going to be showing you how to implement a GDPR consent form with your Google Analytics tag and within a actual WordPress site. So this is important for anybody who has a WordPress site and it's important to include the Google Analytics tag within your GDPR implementation because you don't want Google Analytics to show for EU users that have not consented for you as the publisher showing, uh, taking their data without consent because the GDPR regulations will come down on any uh, publisher hard that is running Google Analytics on non-consented EU users. So this is why it's so important. So the first step is to go to Google Analytics. In this case, we're gonna use this website as an example. And once you're on the profile page for your Google Analytics, you'll go down to admin and then track info right here and click on tracking code and then you have your code right here okay so what you're going to do is you're going to copy and paste it i have it in a code editor so here's our google analytics code and in this example we're going to use the pubguru data guard consent form so i have the code right here and i'm going to show you guys how to turn to use this google analytics code adjust the PubGuru code so that it works for this particular publisher. So I'm gonna break it down a bit. And you can see here from line 20 to 24, these are all optional changes. For example, on line 20, the publisher name, you can put your company name here. That's essentially going to show the name of your company in the consent form you have your uh, the privacy policy link so you can put your privacy policy link so that'll show in the consent form you have the opportunity to show your logo which will show in the consent form and then the duration that the technology will remember that particular user whether they consented or not so in this example it says 90 uh by default, if you don't enter anything, it'll be 390 days. It's really up to you whether you're going to enter them. But for simplicity's sake, we are going to take out the optional lines because you don't need them if you don't want to, uh, if you, you're fine with the default. So I'm going to delete those. So now we have just this. Okay, so the next step is customizing the code within the cookie wrap right here. So this is essentially allowing you to add your Google Analytics URL, which you can find right here. We're gonna copy and paste that, and we're gonna put that right over here. And then for the rest of it, you can put the remainder of the Google Analytics code. So that's these lines over here. You don't want to include the script tags. So I'll put it in here. Make sure to keep the curly brackets line there. So we'll, we'll, uh, we'll just put it below the comment. They, because we have the slashes here, the, the comments are fine. Actually, no, we'll replace it right here. Here we go. So we have that replaced, just take out that line there. And now we have the code uh, that we need to properly block Google Analytics for any EU user that does not consent to provide their data. So you also want to include other potential technology that would use any cookie data, for example, Google AdSense, Ad Exchange, uh, DoubleClick for Publishers, uh, the Facebook app. There's a lot of different analytics tools that you might want to include here. And you want to include it within these curly brackets. That is the cookie wrap. So for simplicity's sake, we're only going to do it 
for the Google Analytics code. So we have everything we need right here. We are going to be copy and pasting this. So first we'll copy. And now I'm going to go to my WordPress admin, which is right here. Oh, right here. And I uh, go within the settings. Within the settings, you can go to header and footer code. And this is the page that I'm in right now. And within the header, I have the old Google Analytics code. So I'm going to replace that. I'm going to replace that with the code that we just customized, the, the PubGuru Data Guard code. So you can see it's all right here. You can take out the comments if you'd like. I'm going to do that just so it looks a little better. And yeah, here it is. So we click the Save Changes right here. And then within, this is the actual website right here, pvpresourcespacks.com. So it is implemented right now. You can find it by searching within the source code, pgjs. Okay, so here it is. So here's the code right here that we implemented. And you can see it's just as we saw. So it's in there, perfect. Now we want to test that it works properly. So we're going to scroll down in the the monetize more fact, which we're going to put a link in the video description as well, so you can use this useful fact. And it's right in the section over here. We go. So I've set up PubGuru Data Guard. How do I test it? So now this is an important part. You want to make sure that it works. So the first one you can do is append the URL with this string right here. I'm going to add to it and see if the pop-up comes up properly. Okay, so it obviously works. The pop-up works. We, and this is kind of the default pop-up. And for an EU user to consent, they have to click OK, let's go. If they don't click it, then they do not consent. So another one that you can do just in case you don't necessarily want to force the pop-up, but you want to emulate that you're an EU user. You can use this one right here, and you append it with that instead. And now this would be what an EU user essentially would see. So you get the same pop-up, and that's good. And for example, if you wanted to uh, reset your cookies, say you're already in EU and you want to test that out too, you can use this one right here. So that's how you essentially implement the GDPR consent form for the PubGuru Data Guard, and that's with uh, Google Analytics. And uh, you can do that with WordPress. That's for this tutorial. We'll be doing other tutorials for all the other types of implementations. Okay, I hope that was helpful. Thank you so much. That concludes our video for today. Don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel to get updates on our latest videos. See you next time.